Hello, my name is Ken De Hello, my name is Ken De Leon. With the IL editor from the automation system PSS 4000, safety and automation are available within the software. The control system PSSU PLC can be programmed in accordance with IEC 61131-3 using the IL editor. Now I'll show you the basic functions of the IL editor. Let's start with the help and the getting started guide. Via help, getting started, I can access the online help which I can use to work out my procedure directly via project for PSSU PLC. The first item is create project. Here you can already see from the screenshots what the tool will ultimately look like. If I press next, I'll see the declaration part and the instruction part, in other words the IL editor, as well as some small examples of how I add and declare variables. I'll do this later in online mode or live via the tool. Before that I'd like to show you the operations in IL. If I go to the search tab and enter operations in IL, I'll see operations in IL as the third hit. Now I'll see all the operations. The first project I created is the project manager. I called it pass4000 underscore application. There is an IL editor in IEC 61131 programming. By right clicking I now have the option to add a new block via new POU in the context menu. The programming language, in other words the IL editor, is here next to the first radio button. The type can be selected afterwards. As soon as I press OK the IL editor opens. The declaration part is at the top, a boolean variable for example. If I now create a second variable, it is quite simple to change the status from standard to failsafe via the prefix safe. I'll create a third variable for an output. And I can now enter and use my variables in the program via the code and the assistant or input guide. I'll open the block FB machine start in which I've already created the variables. At the moment they are all blue which means they are all in the standard section. To change this I have the option of typing in safe as the prefix. As a result the color switches from blue to yellow. To call up a block, in this case the instance of an RS flip-flop, I'll type in cal. Immediately after the L I'll use the assistant with control and spacebar to call this block. Now I just need to enter my conditions and enables. To set it, I'll use the start input, in other words, I underscore, and then the assistant with control plus spacebar. IB start. To reset it, I'll use another function by combining the stop button and the B underscore safety enable. And insert it down here as B underscore stop condition. This will be connected to the output QB underscore main contactor. If you want to remove a function as a test, you have the option to highlight the relevant lines and rows and comment them out using F9. To undo it, all you need is to press F9 again. Another function I'd really like to show you is the jump function. I'll open a new block. FB underscore analog. 
You can see these jumps down here already, such as jump condition, in other words a conditional jump. To use a conditional jump, I must first action a query, in other words, I load a value and compare it with another. If these match, it jumps with this condition to the label POTI1 greater than POTI2. With a normal jump, I'll land at the end and therefore at the end of the program. The last thing I'd like to show you is the possibility of integrating an STL program into an IL program. Via my project tree, I can see FB underscore example STL. I can double click to open this. If I would then like to integrate this into my IL project, I first need to establish the instance example FB underscore control and spacebar example STL and simply call this up in code with cal control and spacebar cal example. Now that you're familiar with the basic functions of the IL editor, there is nothing to stop you generating and programming your own project. I wish you every success.